Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a grocery haul from Aldi and how I am going to be planning out my meals this week. Okay, so like I said, we are doing a grocery haul from Aldi today. I was going to do a get it all done for you guys today, but my schedule just has not allowed it. So, I'm gonna show you guys what I found from Aldi. I have not been there for like two years. It has been so long since I've been to Aldi and I, I finally snagged a few things that I have been hearing a lot of things about and since I'm mostly gluten free and on Weight Watchers and I do like lots of ground chicken and ground turkey and things like that, this was such an amazing option because like Walmart, Target, they just don't have the same options at the same prices and like let alone like the same exact options anyway. But let's hop into what I got at Aldi this time. So I spent about $100 at Aldi's, 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 however you pronounce it today. Um, and I got a lot of really good things and I'm super excited about some of the stuff that I found. Okay, so let's start over here in this corner. Okay, so so first off, I picked up a couple of reusable um, grocery bags from Aldi just because if we're gonna be going there a little bit more often, since you have to bring your own grocery bags, figured a couple more reusable ones wouldn't hurt. Um, I am going to be gone this evening for my one of my best friend's weddings. It's her wedding rehearsal tonight. So I picked up these three mini pizza crusts for Mike and the kids. I thought this would be so fun. It comes with three packets of sauce in there. So I just bought the mozzarella and the pepperoni separately. Um, but this was just such a good deal. I think it was like $1.99 for three of them. So I got this for the kids. Um, also picked up some of these pumpkin cookies for the kids for tomorrow. Mike is going to be filming the wedding tomorrow, but um, my sister-in-law, my sister-in-law is going to be watching the kids tomorrow and I thought this would be such a cute little like activity for them to do, just make some cookies. Um, and then Kaya, this is the ice cream she wanted. Yes, keto ice cream. But I thought this would be fun to share with you guys at our keto. Um, this was, I believe like $2.99, then maybe $1.99, I can't remember. This is definitely an ice cream that I would even reach for. Um, so I was okay with Kaya grabbing it. But anyway, mint chocolate chip is always our go-to and i um, super excited they had this keto ice cream at Aldi. All right, so moving into the other things, I got some low-carb tortillas. These are not gluten-free, um, but I want to do chicken enchiladas this week, and I ran out of or I ran out of enchiladas. I ran out of tortillas, so I'm going to be making chicken enchiladas with these low-carb tortillas. This was so much more affordable at Aldi versus like Walmart, Target. Um, I usually get the low carb mission tortillas and you get the same amount, but it's like $4.99 at, at like Walmart and Target for the mission brand. And this is $1.99 at Aldi. So <laughs> go get yourself some of these if you like the low carb tortillas. Picked up Honeycrisp apples for $1.69. $1.69. You guys know how expensive Honeycrisp apples are. Um, so I was really, really happy to find these so cheap. And then same with these like with the cuties. Um, I got these for $2.99, which is a good deal. Usually they're like $3.99, maybe $4.99 at some of the more expensive grocery stores, but $2.99 is certainly a wonderful deal for cuties. Um, and then I got a huge thing of jasmine rice. Now I could have gotten the same size of white rice. I think it's, is this a five pound? I believe it is. Um, yes, it's a five pound bag of rice. So I could have gotten um, the same size for white rice, if you just prefer white rice for a dollar eighty-five from Aldi, I was blown away. It's so cheap. White rice is cheap in general, but it's even cheaper at Aldi. Um, but I got this jasmine rice because this is just like a step up from white rice, just a little bit better. And this was for four eighty-five. Don't ask me why I know that. It must just be like I don't know because I used to be an accountant and like really good at remembering numbers if I actually pay attention to them versus things like this, yellow cling diced peaches. So um, Kaya threw this into the cart and I was just like, yeah, whatever, that's fine. <laughs> you can get some peaches, I don't care. Um, but I do not know how much this cost. If I had to guess, I would say these peaches probably cost like $1.99. Then I also picked up some spring mix. Um, I didn't get very much just because um, I only plan to have this for a couple of lunches this week. 
picked up some of their chunky guacamole because the restaurant style, oh my gosh, it's so good. This is one of my favorite guacs, is the Aldi one. Um, picked up two things of butter. Um, I think this was like $2. And then these two things of butter were, were like a couple dollars each as well. Yogurt, if you're a big yogurt person, they've got like light yogurt, regular yogurt, but Kaya loves yogurt. I'm not like a huge yogurt person. Sometimes I'll do the light and fit Greek yogurt, like vanilla style for like parfaits, but not huge on yogurt. But these are 32 cents a piece at Aldi, so if you are a yogurt lover, I highly recommend checking out Aldi for, um, for cheap alternatives. And then I picked up a thing of asparagus for $1.99. That is the cheapest asparagus that you can get. $1.99 for a bunch. Um, and then I picked up, I saw these and I was intrigued. So these are chicken snack sticks. They're sugar free, hardwood smoked, and they're like fully cooked, ready to eat. And I am such like a beef stick person. I want to say these were $3.99 for three of them. So they weren't like a really good deal. Um, they just were a good like alternative. I don't know. I just haven't seen these anywhere. Like chicken snack sticks, I've not seen anywhere. And again, because I'm on Weight Watchers, chicken and turkey versions of things are like way lower in points. So I will let you guys know what I think of these once I give them a try. Moving right along, um, I picked up some of these cheese balls and I put this on my Instagram story because I grew up with these. These were so good. Like, yes, they're gluten free, but those are not healthy for you. I had a handful and I even feel kind of like nauseous and kind of junky right now. Um, but these are so good. So I got them for the kids as a treat and kind of for a treat for myself, like a little throwback. Um, and then I picked up some mushrooms um, because I want to do like a Philly cheesesteak or like a chicken cheesesteak type of um, like sandwich or something this week. Not sandwich, or like open, maybe in like a stuffed pepper, like a chicken Philly stuffed pepper would be really good. Um, Kaya grabbed some of these crackers. Kaya and Riker and Mike love saltines with peanut butter on them for snacks. And these are 75 cents. So I said, sure, why not? Um, and then the ramen was the same price as anywhere else. It's like a dollar ninety-nine, $2.99 maybe even for this pack. They didn't have the chicken, so I just got the beef instead. Picked up some turkey sausage snack sticks. These are some of our favorites. And these were a dollar cheaper at Aldi than um, Walmart, which is where we usually get these. Picked up some hard salami ones for the kids. I have to keep a lot of like quick snacky items in the house um, for the kids because they're just like not like, they don't like to sit down and eat a big meal. They would rather eat smaller things throughout the day. So if I can incorporate some proteins and things like that in their snacks, that's super. Um, picked up the turkey pepperoni for those mini pizzas. Um, this is two pounds of fresh ground turkey and I got 85% lean, but I also picked up a pound of the 99% fat free because this is the one that is zero points on Weight Watchers. If you use 99% fat free, it's zero points. I like ground turkey and I like ground chicken, but they didn't have any ground chicken at Aldi. So I just got some um, ground turkey for like um, spaghetti squash spaghetti and like stroganoff, things like that. It's super good. Um, and it's easy to toss together a meal when you have um, ground meat in the house. And then I picked up these for the kids for tomorrow morning. Um, I had these mini blueberry muffins. I love like the crumbles on top. I will even divulge in a little um, mini muffin once in a while, but I specifically got these for tomorrow morning so that Mike can have like a really quick breakfast, like ready to go for the kids before he heads out to film the wedding. Okay, so muffins and then Right here, I got some gluten-free chicken nuggets for myself. And then back here, I've got regular chicken nuggets for the kids. Um, and these were like $3.99, I think. And these were $4.99. These were a little bit more expensive. The gluten-free options tend to be a little bit more expensive, but that's okay. Um, and then back here, I just refilled on some ketchup. And then I got some of this toasted coconut almond milk. Um, this is real, I, this is the only like almond milk that I can stand in like an iced coffee. And what I like to do is I put it in my frother with my Nespresso. Um, and I'll put it on the cold foam or like the cold frothing. 
a setting and this is really good. I was totally influenced to buy this from the Glam Farmhouse. If you guys don't follow her on Instagram, you should. Her stories are like what I live for every day. She's so funny. And she has the most amazing coffee suggestions. Um, so anyways, I will have her link down below for you guys. I love her. Um, but anyway, so coconut almond milk is really good. And the kids will drink this as well. Um, which is actually mostly what I got it for is for the kids. Um, Riker likes to have a baba once in a while. And this is what I'll use for him. And then here's some mozzarella for those pizzas um, for tonight for the kids. And then Kaya picked out two types of juice. She wanted grape juice and orange juice. So that is what the kids have for juices. We usually don't do juices. And just a tip that like something I do, I'm sure lots of people do it, but I'll actually like water down their juice half and half. So it's not so intense, it's not so sugary. Um, I just feel like it's, it's so much sugar, it's so much sugar. It's almost like just as bad as pop for them. But anyway, they're getting juice this week because I am feeling extra nice. <laughs> Um, and then I picked up oat milk from Aldi. This is one of the biggest reasons why I went is because I heard that Aldi had an oat milk option and I got super excited when I heard that. Somebody on my Instagram reached out to me and told me. So I'm really excited to try this. Um, it should, I'm really excited to try this and see how similar it is to um, the Oatly oat milk that we have. So anyway. Excited for that. Two things that I got. So I got eggs. These are a dollar a dozen at Aldi. Um, and we usually get 36 pack. And then I just like refill the egg tray in the fridge. Um, and then these 12 grains. So typically we will get oat nut bread from Walmart. And it's like $4 a loaf. It's so expensive. But this 12 grain whole or this 12 grain whole grains bread was only a dollar ninety-nine each at Aldi. So I picked up two loaves, usually one for breakfast for the kids, and then one for like PBJ sandwiches during the week for the kids for lunch. Um, we go through a lot of bread for them. Um, and you guys know that I try to stay gluten free as much, much as possible. Um, but if I'm gonna have bread, I like to have this fit and active. <laughs> it's only 45 calories per slice. So 90 calories per two slices and I believe it's only like one or two points for two of these on Weight Watchers. So um, the past week when I've been like sick and like having my kidney infection and COVID and all the things, I have been gravitating towards having toast in the morning just to fill my tummy a little bit more and I'm on antibiotics so the bread helps with that. So anyway, I highly recommend this bread. I have enjoyed it thoroughly. And then I picked up these for the kids, these Halloween mini pretzels. Um, there's 24 bags in here. I figured they could have some. So I picked these up for the kids. Um, there's 24 of them in here and this was like $2.99 or $3.99. Um, just with how much we're gonna be on the go lately, I figured these would be so nice just to be able to grab and go, shove them inside of the diaper bag and take off. Okay, so some of the things I wanted to share with you guys when I'm on an in-between week is, if you guys haven't seen my other video, I'm gonna link it up here for you guys. Everyone, it's oh, actually over here. I'm gonna link it over here for you guys. Um, referring back to how I create my lists. So typically with the amount of protein I buy, like chicken and things like that, that like usually will last me for the month. But I wanted to refill on my ground turkey meat and like last my guy from chicken breast too but I wanted to refill on that because I didn't realize how many times I was gonna reach for that in the past couple of weeks while I have been quarantined it was so handy like if I wasn't feeling good just to like whip together something really quick with ground turkey like I did like I said stroganoff or I did or I've done like tacos or gluten-free lasagna which I plan to share a recipe with you guys here in the next week or so uh, just lots of times that I really gravitated towards that ground turkey in the past couple of weeks so I did refill on that but for the most part my proteins that I buy in my big grocery haul are enough to last me for the month. So I have a huge, huge 10 pound bag of chicken breast still. I have tilapia, I've got salmon, I've got some shrimp. There's so many things left in the freezer that I need to take advantage of. So, so when I go to refill, 
typically what I need to do on those in-between weeks. I, I usually don't need to buy like $100 worth. It was only because I was going to Aldi and there were some specific items that I knew that I was interested in and I don't go there very often. Usually my off weeks are about 50 bucks. So I will do my bulk $200 grocery orders every couple of weeks and then the in-between weeks are usually anywhere from 35 to 50 bucks for fill-ins. Like I said, my fill-ins are typically fruits vegetables and then kids snacks so this week happened to fall on an egg refill week but eggs are super cheap to refill anyway um, but for the kids I always refill apples like they're always sitting in this bowl behind me and the kids will just come up grab one and take off with it even if it's like half eaten for a dollar 67 for a bag of apples. I'm not gonna cry about it if the kids only eat half of the apple. I try to cut it up for them, but it is nice for them to have like fresh healthy snacks that are like easily like grabbable right here. Maybe not so much for Riker, but for Kaya, it is really nice. Um, and then like I said, I also got like those pretzel, little pretzel bags, which are 24 of them for $2.99. It's such an insane deal. And that way you're portion controlling them as well. So they're excited, they're getting a snack, but once it's gone, it's gone. Um, and then for um, applesauce, I was going to mention that you guys know that I just got those reusable applesauce packets, um, like the, like the, you can buy the packet itself on Amazon and refill it with applesauce. A 10 pack was like $9.99 for those and usually a 10 pack for go-go squeezes is $9.99 and I was spending like $20 a week on go-go squeezes which is crazy but my kids love applesauce so I got those reusable packets and then I just get those big huge containers of applesauce for like what are they like $2.99 or like $2.50 or something like that at Walmart but at Aldi they were only $1.85 for the applesauce, for the same size, same big applesauce, like the big honking containers, $1.85. So much cheaper to do it that way. So yes, the initial investment, it's gonna cost you a couple of dollars more the first, what, week? Um, but then after that, you're gonna only be spending like maybe max of $5 a week versus 20. I mean, for me, a $15 savings a week was insane. So highly recommend Aldi for the applesauce. Um, some of the other snacks that I refilled on, as you guys saw, like proteins and like, like so like those like little heart salami, snackable bites, and then the turkey snack sticks, um, those chicken sausage sticks, which I will, actually I'll share those with the kids. Like I'm not gonna eat all of those by myself. Um, and then I will also refill on bread. So typically those things only cost me 35 to $50 and I will do my refills on the Walmart grocery order app. Now I will take my original list of meals that I planned out for to a two week increment. I will take that same list that I created. Again, I'll have that link or that video linked up here for you guys so you can take a peek at it. But Usually when I go through that list, I'm gonna go, okay, did I use any of the ingredients and come up with a different meal that wasn't on this list for this week because I was craving it or or did I just forget to get it last time? Like, let me go back to that main meal list for the two weeks and see if I need to refill on anything. Um, so that's what I will do. I'll go back through, make sure I've got everything on the rest of the list for the rest of the week. So I've got like um, chicken enchiladas coming up this week. I've got gluten-free lasagna coming up this week. I did make a chili last week. Um, that I was not planning on making and I am going to add that into the rotation for next big grocery shopping trip so that I can share that recipe with you guys. It's a crock pot chili, super simple, like very like classic chili recipe. Um, and then I've got a white chicken chili on the menu, a tortellini and sausage and kale soup on the menu, spaghetti squash spaghetti. Um, and then I just have like grilled chicken and vegetables and grilled chicken thighs and vegetables. Lots of really good yummy meals coming up over the next couple of weeks. Again, I will have my Pinterest linked down below for you guys. If you want to check out any of my food boards, I have one that's called food. It is not like a professional Pinterest by any means. This is just my personal Pinterest that I've had since I was in high school. But I have a food board and then I also have a Weight Watchers board and I believe there's a keto board on there as well. If you want to get some inspiration for some good meal ideas for the upcoming weeks and months as we get into the colder season, so anyway, all right guys, I hope some of those tips and tricks have helped you and inspired you and motivated you. I'm going to be putting together a pin for you guys of all of my pantry staples, 
also linked down below. So again, make sure you're following me on Pinterest. You can save that pin for your future use to see like what my staples are. Um, and then next time, my next grocery haul, I am going to lay out all of my rotation meals for you and put it into a mom handbook type of like recipe card so you could just pull up that pin and go back and forth and decide which of that list of recipes sounds the best for the upcoming weeks and then you can write those down when you are doing your meal planning and grocery ordering and all of the things and we're gonna make it so much easier for you guys to order your groceries and not have to constantly search and think or just order food off of DoorDash because you are just so exhausted that you can't come up with a meal plan anymore. I've totally done that before as well. So anyways, guys, I will see you in a couple of days for another really fun motivational video. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I love sharing my grocery tips and meal planning tips with you guys. If you're new here, I would love if you consider subscribing to my channel. I share lots of content like this here on my channel to motivate you and to get you going and get you through your to-do list and show you that being a chaotic young woman, mama, etc., is totally normal. And I give you the tips and tricks and tools of how to deal with that and how I personally deal with it. So, all right guys, I'll see you in a couple of days. Okay, bye.